Hello and welcome. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Scottish. This is the second part of uh, the tutorial. Uh, today we're not going to be uh, looking at the Queen development. We're still going to be looking at Night Takes. But we're rather going to look at what happens if they don't try to trade out Queens immediately. And what if they just start trying to, for example, develop Pawn here, or try to develop Knight to F6. Hello? You're watching Chesnova Tutorials. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the Scottish um, trade variation again. But this time we're not gonna look at Queen develops to F6, but we're rather gonna look at the pawn to D6. Uh, um, well, the thing is that is with pawn D6, which is special and not the same as Queen F6, is that you're not trying to trade off Queens, and you're letting me stay with a really strong Queen in the center. Um, Another move that we're also going to be looking at is, of course, the knight development to f6. In the case of knight development to f6, it is possible to play the uh, pawn to e5, which is the best game. But personally, I, I think it's a advanced uh, variation, which you can learn. Uh, you can learn that variation uh, uh, as time progresses, but it's... It's a lot to learn. Uh, it's a lot to learn. So, um, you, it's really okay to just play normal, even in this situation, developing the bishop here. Uh, but yeah, the most normal move that you'll meet is knight here or pawn here. And after knight development, uh, I would recommend if you don't want to learn this variation, just play the same either what it plays Knight developing meant here so that it can push pawn into the center um, So knight just blocking here But if they play pawn up to uh, d6 you can start developing the bishop uh, the Bishop isn't attacking much now but the thing is, because uh, he's just protecting with a pawn, but you're basically locking in this bishop since he can never move away. Uh, he can never move pawn g6 to develop the fianchetto because your queen is here. And you want to have attack against this pawn because pawn c6 is probably going to come later. So if the knight develops, you want to develop your knight yourself. Continue keeping control or the position and protect. Um, here, a normal move is pawn uh, c5. Uh, uh, what is the pawn c5 move isn't that good. Uh, your pawn on d6 is terrible now. It's really weak and hard to protect. Not much you can do. So what do you do? You just move the queen one square back. And uh, now your opponent can't do anything. You're going to get a castle. And you just don't have time to protect this pawn. You're going to win this pawn and get a really strong position. Um, and you're just up a rook. Um, normally the castle in this situation. And you just have a much better position. You can develop every piece. You can get a... Okay, maybe not pawn... Uh, you can develop bishop here. You can develop bishop here to avoid uh, pawn here if that looks dangerous for you. It's possible to play with bishop here. But it's going to be a little hard. So if you just want to play easy, develop bishop here. Get the pawn here later and double up the rooks. And you just have a safe position. Um, a really strong position. And there's not much uh, black can do with it. Um... If black decides to just develop bishop, you castle. And ca uh, castle always. This pawn move is terrible. Uh, you're just going to play uh, queen back. And you're attacking. Uh, 
Um, one plan for by the opponent might be to castle and now push pawn. Here it's important to play. Um, why does he play here? Because now he wants to get knight back. He wants to protect the pawn and knight here. Uh, in this situation, his queen isn't protected, so it is just possible to play pawn with a pin. And but the simplest way to win, uh, you can also just move knight here attack. But the, it is much better, and you have a much better position by moving pawn here, because then you're not losing the strong knight protecting the a pawn. Um. So it's always possible you can never push the pawn up and that's gonna happen a lot. A lot of people don't know that a pawn uh, c7 is dangerous. They don't know it and they'll um, completely forget that uh, you're losing this pawn. Because some people aren't able to calculate two moves from forward. And that can happen even up to 1900. Uh, Leisha's level uh, or 1700 chess.com level um, and that is a really good variation thing to know um, but if your opponent don't play a pawn uh, C, C5 um, you should try to develop the bishop uh, he develops a bishop here just have a safe position uh, he castles and you develop on here. Don't. Don't. He, don't try to attack the center. His center is safe. Uh, for example if pawn goes here to try to push. Don't play pawn here. Like. It's not necessary. You're just creating trouble for yourself. Uh, he has a weak pawn here. And it's always going to stay weak. Um. And it's not going to help you to attack. What you rather want to do is to take with long castle, short castle. Which is when um, your opponent, he's taking another, the castle to the other side than you. You don't have your king standing at opposite sides. Um, what you can, what you, is going to happen is that it's going to be really dangerous with pawn push. So, uh, if this pawn sp starts pushing now, he is in trouble. Uh, his king is going to be weak. Of course, if he starts pushing, you don't want to pay too much attention to his attack. It's better to just attack yourself. But blocking this one block is always going to be good. Um, to say he develops knight here now. Just continue. You want to push. Um, you want to push, and he's just in trouble. You're you're gonna have a much better position. Say he just doesn't think about it. He starts attacking you. He's planning using his knight and his pawns to attack you. The problem is, queen is still pointing in here. Your queen is still pointing in, and as soon as you get pawn h6, you can't push forward. If you take, you've lost, because it's check here. Uh, it's check here, and you're going to get checkmate. Um, you have to weaken your bishop, and you just have a much better position. You're going to get around... But if you don't want to be in that trouble, you could just take this pawn now. Because, yeah, you could just try to win the pawns. And it's not going to be that dangerous for you, um, your king. Because his attack is going to be much slower than your attack. Much, much slower. Um... And you don't have uh, that much room for improvement in any sort of way. So that is the main plan. And that is what is really good with the uh, Scottish. 
it's not based on the single move. It has a plan. So if you're meeting a new variation that you haven't learned or seen this, just remember, try to keep yourself safe and start pushing your pawns for the later game. Just push the pawns and you're going to have a really strong position in most games. There's not much it's going to be able to do with it. Um... And yeah, um, you're in trouble always. You're always gonna be in trouble. There's always gonna be more attacks. If you have any suggestions on how this can become better, I'd really appreciate your uh, suggestions down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd also really appreciate the like. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the Scottish, there will be a video on the right, uh, which you can click, which will lead you to the next part. If the part hasn't come out yet, you can subscribe to be notified when the next part comes out immediately. Thanks so much for dropping in. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.